Today I fucked up by jamming my seatbelt in my car door. I was leaving for work and when I got in my car I accidentally jammed the seatbelt in the door. The seatbelt had jammed in such a way that the metal piece of the belt that clicks in was wedged between the car exterior and the door. I tried to open the door to get it out and it wouldn't open. I drove to work without a seatbelt and when I got there I had to climb over the console and out the passenger door. When I got off work I tried to open from the outside to get in and still no luck. Once again I opened the passenger door and climbed into the driver's seat. I drove my car to the dealership the next day and pulled up to the service station. I rolled down my window and told the mechanics what happened. The guys all had a good laugh and told me they've never seen something like this before. They all tried to pull it open and couldn't. They told me that I could set up an appointment and they would essentially have to tear the door off the hinges and replace it. I went to get a second opinion. The next mechanic told me there was nothing he could do. I was really starting to get worried at this point. I had one last place to try. I took my car to another shop that specializes in welding and odd jobs. I get up to the shop and a guy walks out to talk to me. I roll down my window to tell him what happened. He looks at my door in silence for about 10 seconds then puts his arm through the window. He hits the unlock button and grabs the door handle and pulls. The door opens. We look at each other and I'm completely dumbfounded. I think he couldn't believe what he just witnessed. Get the hell out of there as fast I can only hoping he didn't get a good look at my face. I just about died from humiliation. If you're wondering how I never unlocked the door. Well I don't have a key fob so I have to lock and unlock manually. How I never tried to actually unlock the door is beyond me. I am an idiot. Too long didn't read, I jammed my seatbelt in the car door. I couldn't get the door to open. I took my car to a few mechanics and got quotes for tearing off and replacing the door. The last mechanic realized that my door was locked and had nothing to do with the seatbelt being jammed. The other mechanics should be even more embarrassed, that's the first thing they should have checked. It's funny sometimes you're so focused on trying to find the solution that you ignore the obvious. This happens a lot with mechanics. My BF did this exact shit with his jacket like two weeks ago. He ended up ripping the zipper off. He was super pissed off when he realized the door was only locked. It was his favorite jacket. A plus content right here. Reminds me of a time I spent 45 minutes looking for, researching, and phoning various family members and friends in an attempt to locate a release lever for a rental car's gas tank. Realized after all of that time that it was one of those you just push down and it opens. Embarrassing things happen to all of us. That's life. If I were you I would get a box of chocolates, or whatever, and bring it the third guy. Telling him how embarrassed you were for not noticing, that's why you drove off so quickly. And thanking him for saving you a lot of money and trouble. Since the first two guys didn't notice either, you will probably laugh about it together. All awkwardness is forgotten. That's the way to turn embarrassing memories into funny ones. Hey at least you had the wherewithal to get a second opinion and not spent dollar on an unnecessary car repair. Today I fucked up by inadvertently telling a girl she had gotten really fat, really fast. I was scrolling through Instagram stories and a friend of mine, whom I haven't seen in a about 7 months, shared a picture of herself holding a newborn baby at a hospital. In this picture she was wearing a shirt that was high sleeved and fairly tight around the midsection so you could see her shape fairly well. Now compared to the last time I had seen her she looked like she had lost a significant amount of weight and I almost didn't recognize her. I immediately clicked on the message bar at the bottom of the post and typed wow, you've lost so much weight since I last saw you. It's like you you shed an entire person's worth of weight ha ha. Then I went to her next story post. In the next picture was her with that same baby except the baby was about a year old now and she looked very much like she did. Weight wise, when I last saw her. Feeling confused I scrolled back to the first picture and realized something tiny in the top right corner. TBT. Turns out the first picture was less than a year ago and the second picture was today. I basically told this girl that she had gained an entire person's worth of weight since this baby was born. It's not even Thursday why the fuck, 
Edit, it was not her baby. Also, when we last hung out she was actively trying to lose weight and we would talk about her fitness goals, which is why I thought it appropriate to comment on it. I guess it just never panned out. I'm not in the business of just randomly commenting on people's physical appearance unless I'm cool with them. Alright guys I get it, don't comment on someone's weight. Too long didn't read, I commented on a girl's picture complimenting her on her weight loss not realizing the picture was a throwback. You could have deleted the message as soon as you realized, though, if they already saw it, it would make it worse. The only thing op can do now is double down and call her baby fat too. Edit, select all, delete. Baby is adorable save. Stick with telling people that they look good and don't go into specifics is my advice. Talking about weight gain and weight loss is a really touchy subject because you don't know why they gained or lost weight. It might be because they worked out or it might be because of a medical problem. My weight fluctuates a lot because of two autoimmune diseases. People see me and say oh wow you lost so much weight and you look great. But I might be really sick with heart tachycardia, low appetite and no energy. I might even be healthier when I'm larger because I'm eating and I have more energy. So I think it's best to stay away from the subject altogether and simply use nice platitudes online. So to fix this situation you basically just have to leave immediately for Nepal, where they are to live as a goat. It is better to remain silent and look the fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. Today I fucked up by taking free condoms from my college. I'm no longer a college student but when I was attending college they had an event to bring awareness to STDs and AIDS. My professor at the time was offering extra credit if we went, so I decided to go. I mainly just walked around, looking at all the different setups. Then I reach a table that's giving out free condoms. If it's free sign me up and I took a handful and shoved them in my book bag. After that I just carried those condoms in my book bag for the remainder of my college year. Never took them out, I'm not sure why lol, laziness maybe but that is where they remained. Fast forward two years later, I get home I see my husband and at that time BF sitting at the table looking very distraught. I ask him what's wrong, he proceeds to empty his pockets and dumps the condoms I had gotten two years ago. With a stern look he asks can you explain why these were in your book bag? We haven't used condoms since 2013. I can't help myself I start cracking up, as I realize what's happening. At first he didn't seem amused that I was laughing, but eventually he did let out a chuckle. I go on to explain, and we both end up having a good laugh about it. I ask how he found them out of curiosity. He says I didn't find them the cat did. I then died. TL, doctor, I took some free condoms from my college. That my husband found two years later. I had some explaining to do since we haven't used condoms since 2013. Hard to resist free stuff, true. Once I ordered a free sample of diaper for old people in my early 20s. I never tested its absorption qualities, nor do I have funny stories with it though. I can't be the only one that thought her BF at the time was sat with her soon to be husband. Happened to me with my wife, she never believed me. Blame the cat. Of course the cat found them, smiley face. The cat knew what it was doing, made sure to play with them when the husband was around, only taking one out and leaving the rest in the backpack. Clever girl. In college I was offered free condoms, I told them no because I wouldn't need them dot 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 and I was right.